Good afternoon and welcome to my um, my shop. This is Bruce and uh, this is the finale of the uh, Cranky Arm. We um, we now uh, have it finished and uh, we, as we can see the key is going to work nicely in there. Um, that was brought to us first to do. We made that the other day um, and uh, then they found the bludgeoning of the other one, uh, which, which was this one here, with the very badly damaged um, keys in it, and also here they attacked it with a gas axe. The holes were all elongated from broken bolts and so forth. So we got a billet made, um, and we went ahead and and machined this out and did it. We did it in three sequences, basically. Uh, the first one was to bore, um, bore this main bore. We then made a a bush to fit into that bore, and we we bolted that down to the bed, and we used that to locate the centre um, of of this hole. And we then um, also just laying it out there, we just bored part of this hole, the small hole, just enough to be able to indicate. And then what we did, well, this is our drawing, so what we did, we then set that hole up at these coordinates, which was uh, 200, 216 millimetres um, on the X and 154 on the Y, and we set that up, and that gave us then uh, one setup which allowed us to to do the slot, to drill, to mark and drill these six holes, and to final bore, um, uh, to bore out and final bore that uh, small hole, and um, and then we flipped it over, and we drilled these six uh, tapped holes on the back side of it, and then we flipped it back over again. We no longer needed to have it centered or anything and laid it down and uh, with this uh, with this cutting with this cutting head we um, we trimmed we trimmed a little bit off the whole face of it um, and of course a lot of tools were used to get all this done and I've lined them up here because this is like credits after a, after a movie or so we've got um, our straps and um, everything to do with that never forgetting our little brushes and uh, and our little cleaner for the um, uh, for the slots uh, a few different ER40 um, collets our centering our centering drill uh, drill and tap and the pilot drill for the the larger size hole uh, several different uh, mills uh, this this mill here was used for most of the roughing and then we went in and did the slot, the finished slotting. The hole, the the small hole, we we pre-drilled it um, that had been cut, cut by uh, laser, by the um, uh, the gas flame. So we we drilled down through about two thirds of the way with this one, uh, which is a 38 mil, uh, 48, 47 mil, and then we got we borrowed a 52 mil and we bored down with that one about three quarters of the way so it gave relief so we didn't have binding over the whole length even though this is built to do the whole lot and then we finally went through with that one we went with this one as deep as we could and then we went to our uh, boring head and we used the boring head to do the final boring so by using these two rotor brooches we actually save quite a lot of time in the boring and then um, we've got our um, our Starrett handle here that we used, uh, the normal 19 mil for all our all our nuts and bolts, uh, the Noga the Noga uh, cleaner, uh, our Swarf puller, which is normally with the lathe but uh, and on use here, um, the Metatoyo um, angle unit. Uh, we had a couple of those in use. The cutter, as I said. Uh, this uh, X hydraulic um, tap, uh, my more and right uh, precision square, two of these uh, Toledo Australian made um, straight edges, the three um, 
<coughs> the three units that I, I mentioned in early, earlier on that I bought from a uh, um, bought from an, an aircraft uh, engineering company in Melbourne. Um, one of my regular units, the ER40, call it the the Sharpie, which we'd never worked without, and to get rid of some of the swarf. Um, and our milling machine altogether, our big milling machine, uh, without which uh, would be very difficult to do this as we did, and the lathe over there. And of course, uh, electricity and, uh, and air and, and a bit of feed from my darling as well. So all those things together and about 20 hours, I budgeted 20 hours for this job. And I've, um, I haven't finalised the hours, but I'm pretty, pretty close to 20 hours by the time I, I did the drawing, I did the, the sketching up, um, went and, and ordered the steel, got the steel back again, probably a bit over 20 hours, uh, and then all the machining that I've done here. So, uh, yeah, for the CNC guys, uh, they would say, oh, bugger that, we could have done that in four. But I don't have a CNC machine and I don't know how many CNC operators are prepared to work Saturday and Sunday uh, to do this and that other job I did yesterday morning with the get around. So all in all, uh, this is the finale and uh, we need to have to clean up. My granddaughter's having a birthday today so I've got to go and help my daughter and wife uh, do some work and we'll see you again.